Well, it is a perfectly average day outside at the chateau, but a perfectly wonderful day inside the chateau because all of our lovely chateau friends are still here. They're probably downstairs having breakfast at the moment, actually. And I'm going to go downstairs and ask them to show us the things that they found at the Bourcant and in the secondhand shop yesterday, but also the things that they found here at La Lande, the things that we were getting rid of and they're taking back to their chateaus. I do, however, have a lot of cooking to do before that because instead of lunch today, we're having afternoon tea and Philip and I are responsible for for cooking that so it's time to get my chef's hat on good morning magnificent dog yes i bet you're trying to find baudelaire straight away aren't you yes. morning all oh look he's already found baudelaire oh the love is complete it's a love for the ages Hey, how is everyone? Good, morning. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> you look fabulous. Look at good good that. It's a little blingy for first thing in the morning, oh, but it's never too blingy. Morning, Whilst everyone's chatting away at breakfast, I am going to be preparing the lemon meringue pies and I want to make them little tiny mini ones this time. So exactly the same recipe. And I have these old moulds that my father had bought. I don't know that he ever used them and I definitely never used them. So this might be their first outing since what, 1940? I've got lots of different shapes, so let's give these a deep clean. So what goodies did you get? Crochet needle oh. to repair lamps. Because sometimes no. you get don't get the wires through, so we you go to feed in the and wire back to the them out. Yeah. So yeah. that's a really good idea. Here, so we got this big <laughs> here. I just I love my copper. <laughs> oh, if you'd seen that first, I reckon that you wouldn't it have was, managed to it get was it. Hanging up there on the wall. What are you so, going to use it for? Uh, more, mostly decoration, although it Display. is usable. Mm. Yes. So it is yeah. still perfectly tinned, but mostly decoration, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we found those. <laughs> oh, they're nice. Yeah. Usually when you find these, they're, they're in really bad shape. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. so, and it's uh, five of them. I don't know. We don't know where they're going to go. No, no, no it's really but, useful. But, you know, useful. we've been really looking at trying to collect up shades for because. As you see here, we have a lamp that we got. Not that this would go. <laughs> Tiny little shade. You can never nice. have enough table lamps, right? This is exactly what we're finding recently. Yes. Got quite a few really nice ones at auctions. Mm -hmm. Like really old Gian oil lamps that are Ooh. converted already. So this is a set. This is what a picture. Lovely. Wow, that's beautiful. So there's a set to go with it. So this is okay, eight, I think wow. eight wine and eight water. That's my favorite uh, of all of your purchases. I, like, I mean, I like everything, but that's really yeah. special. And that was from yeah. Amos and it's just lovely. And many times you don't find this many that yeah. are still no. with the and set. And how much there. was the whole set? Uh, 20 euros. That's so amazing. <laughs> just amazing. It is ridiculous, isn't it? So that's us. That's You've got, got really good finds. And yeah. what did you get here? We got a wonderful pair of curtains from you. Oh, good. You took <laughs> one of the pairs of curtains. That's really, really great because we've got beautiful curtains here yes. and not enough windows. I never thought I'd say that. Never thought the day would come they'd all be I, curtained. I believe you because when you, when you drive up to La Lande, you see it's so many windows and you think, mm. How do you ever fill them? Yeah. And you did. Years, I mean, years and years and years. It's a lot of work. And what, what else did we get? We I'm really proud of. Got some I mean, beautiful chairs. Yes. Yeah. Big. The green ones. Yes. Yes, yeah. with, the, with the gilded. That was our dining. original dining chairs here for yeah. years and years. So I'm happy they're going to a and good home. And they're going to go into the so petite salon, which is green. Yeah. Or will be green. So it's been, thank you so much. Excellent. Excellent. That makes me very happy. Yes, thank you so much. I do also want to say hello to Bonnie, Hi. who has just arrived for lunch today. And you've moved into your chateau now, haven't yeah. you? We, we, we have, and we're almost settled. I and about another hundred boxes to another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aside from that, how are you finding it? Absolutely love it. Best decision of our lives. I'm sure there'll be a lot of Americans watching who are thinking, should we do it? Americans should we? Canadian too. I'm, I'm also Canadian. So. Yes. Yeah. One of those guys. Yeah, one foot over the border. <laughs> if everything is right for you and and for the place, yes. It it took a long time. We looked for seven years at properties mm. and then we looked in person for two years. So wow. yeah, you have it to was fall the in right love. place and it was the right property. Yes. So it's home. There's, there's no question. It feels like it's always been home. Okay, what about you? What? Well, I can see two of your treasures right Ooh, here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> These are two vases that were made by Francois Moreau. His father was a sculptor before him and he also had a brother who was a sculptor. Oh and they sculptured in, in a material called Régule which isn't bronze, but it's a composite. They used to make these beautiful sculptures and vases, and that was their kind of thing. And it was all, all around Absolutely the period amazing. of uh, Art Nouveau. These are really beautifully sculpted. This is a 
They're like two little water nymphs because there are waterfalls mm. around them with flowers and everything mm -hmm. else. But the thing that really, we couldn't see these in the brocante very well. But when we brought them out, the colour of the, uh, yes. the red and the green there's, really kind of popped. Yeah, and, and there's so much gold in there as well. Yes. Yes. And it's so hard to find things that are Art Nouveau that we find that this is the biggest challenge. It was such a small time period. And so it's so difficult to find. And your chateau is Art Nouveau. It, it is. is. It yeah. is indeed. And to find a pair. Yeah. So that was that was the big find of the day, I think. They're absolutely beautiful. And there's a true pair. Look, yeah. each one yeah. different. They are and, absolutely uh, a pair, yeah. And they're, they're, they're kind of done in a broken symmetry. That's so, wonderful. Uh, it's, it's Birds really and dragonflies and this gradation of colour is magnificent. Yeah. That was a good find. These were a good find. And they were from Bernard's shop. Yes, yes. 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 We always do so well there. It's the tiniest shop in the world and he's mm. got so many treasures. It's Aladdin's cave. It's amazing. You're so lucky to... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right around the he's, corner. He has some great stuff. Oh, we also got this little thing from, from him as well, which is something we've we're always looking for these. Oh, that's else's. a pretty one. These little, these little uh, lamps. It's funny how you were so, saying, we all need lamps. Yes. We found that little guy and he's really nice. Then from Emma's, um, we yes. got a pair of mirrored water jugs. Oh, from... it was the day of pears. Yeah. Now, this is from a faction in Belgium um, called H. Bouquet. And they're closed now, mm. uh, but they were in production from the 1920s through to about the 1980s. So this is what they used to do. They used to produce these really kind of ornate water jugs and sculptures. The birds. Yeah. They're all hand painted as well. They're all hand painted. They're very hard to find in such good condition as a pair. And how much did they set you back these at the charity shop? a massive price of 10 euros. For the pair? For the, For pair. the pair. <laughs> oh, I love him I so much. <laughs> And you also found curtains here. We did indeed. Oh. And they're beautiful. Thank you so much. They were given to you by someone named Florence. Yes, yes, who's a very good friend of yours. Yes. And years ago, she gave me those beautiful curtains. I'm so happy beautiful. that you're going to be using I them. I can't wait to see where they're going to go. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> These were from yesterday. I love that new gothic one. We love it. He said the mirror is completely new, but the frame is old. Yeah, it's beautiful. And a little niche. And we'll put it in the niche in the chapel. Yeah, it's okay. screaming yeah, chapel, it's isn't it? Yeah, right? <laughs> and then we have this beautiful engraving. I love this one so much. 18th century, very <gasps> ball. And the frame as well. Yeah. Though the chandelier is oh, working quite well in the reflection. <laughs> so it's part of it. <laughs> Yeah, we're very happy. So you had a successful hunt and you found more mirrors here as well today. Yeah, I did. Two Thank you. Mirrors. So you're going to have a hall of mirrors. <laughs> Mini Versailles. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah? Uh, we didn't find anything at the MIU or the, or the Brocante job, but we did have a little go through your fabrics that were available. Oh. So there may be some costumes coming out of those. There was, Excellent. Uh, several meters of one particularly that is screaming. Oh, which me. one? Venetian. It's it's a cream background with a little bit of blingy kind of uh, damask sort of pattern. I know the one you mean. Yes. yes. Well, I don't know about you lot, but I think we should do this again. Because yeah. yeah. it's actually yeah. really, I mean, it's perfect for us. The chateau's clearer now. Everything's obviously going to go to good homes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And be much loved. I have visitation rights to all objects. <laughs> I take afternoon tea extremely seriously, and I don't want to be looking like this for it. I would like to be glowing. So I'm going to use for Froreo Glow Addict. Now, a lot of you will have heard me talk about Froreo before. I absolutely love my Froreo UFO3, and I'm very lucky because Froreo have offered to sponsor today's video with this ad. For those of you who haven't heard me talk about the UFO3 before, it is a deep facial hydration device. And I am somebody who desperately needs a deep facial hydration device because I have suffered all of my life from dry skin, which I've inherited from my mother. But since I started using the Froreo, it has been completely transformed. It feels so much softer and hydrated. I don't have that tight pinched feeling in my skin and my skin definitely glows much more. This tiny little device has many different functions. It warms up and cools down. And each of those things are something different for your skin. The warming hyperinfusion helps the mask ingredients to soak in much more deeply and also feels incredible in winter when, let's face it, other than the log burner in the dining room, this is pretty much the best heating we have in the chateau at the moment. <laughs> But also the cooling function is incredible, obviously wonderful in summer, but I use it even in winter to depuff around the eyes. If I ever need that, you know, occasionally. Today it's definitely going to be Glow Addict.
I've just noticed this is pearl extract. Oh. Who doesn't need pearl extract before afternoon tea? I usually like it in my furniture, but you know, I like it. <laughs> and here you see, you just go through the different colours. And I want this one, which is the warming. I absolutely love it. I use it every day. It's transformed my skin. And if you'd like to try the UFO3 for yourself, then click the link in the description box below to receive 30% off the UFO3. Well, now for a little bit of makeup to finish the look, and then I'm off downstairs. Marie is making actually very, very beautiful finger sandwiches. And they're the classics, smoked yes. salmon, cucumber, and egg. Yes. I'm making the mini lemon meringue pie again. Uh, I'm going to have to tidy this up a lot in a sec. Um, but I'm just putting a little blob so cute, each though. one. They're really cute, aren't they? But I had quite a lot of pastry left over, so I've done a slightly bigger one as well. Okay. You've got cute, all the tiny ones around it. Yeah, I really like the tiny ones. I just don't think they're going to come out of the mould. People might have to eat them from the mould at this point. Yeah. I am trying to make them pretty. I think I'm slightly failing, but as long as I get enough meringue on each bit, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Homemade lemon meringue tarts. I can't think of anything more wonderful. <laughs> The so plain scones are in, and I just suddenly realised I didn't fancy a plain scone. I fancied a cheese scone, so I'm quickly making another Ooh. batch with some cheese. Oh, delicious! I love time. savory scones. Simon is ridiculously excited about the egg, egg. salad. Yeah, I wish it was egg and cress, but we don't have any cress. Wow. Egg and pea shoots, which has got to be. Ooh, that is a lot of scones. The bottom row, you can tell everyone that's uh, cheese. All right. And these two are the plain scones. Okay. So mascarpone, I'll get the. Um... Jam. Perfect. And I'm cutting up the caramel slice cake. See how this comes out. Well, it was all going so well. Oh. Everything else came out great. I can't cut this. I can't. Mm. I think maybe it shouldn't have been in the fridge. I don't know. But I can't cut it. Your cheese cream is very good. Excellent. <laughs> okay. At least rustic, it's... Angel. It's rustic. It's not rustic. Oh, it's just going to get worse with every little... Oh. Oh dear. I'll have it. <laughs> just serve it like that. That looks beautiful and rustique, just like your, cross, uh, your um, scones. Rustique. The scones were all right. This is not all right. Whatever the technique is, I don't have it. Mm. I think put it on a platter, just serve it like that with a knife. I'm taking the caramel slices of shame through with me. Hopefully they'll still taste okay. Oh, Philip, your table is totally going to make up for my caramel slices. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brought them out just to show people what they're supposed to look like when served correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, you might have noticed that my arch nemesis slipped into the table when no one was noticing, <laughs> just to join us. First fair. You were the first to 100 million, not just between us, but out of every Chateau channel on YouTube. In the world. In the entire world. It's the strangest yeah. looking Gemma Rudy Poli I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 okay. Have another try and find your own tart. Yeah, that'll, that'll keep you busy. I know how you like a bit of DIY. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, are we allowed to ask what your numbers are? So he's minuscule. He's oh, 110 wow. million now already, and I'm 102 million. Yay! Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Daniel Preston. Cheers. 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 Bonnie, what's happening over here? So anybody, um, this is my sample box for Downton Abbey eyewear. And I have a lot. And so if any of you guys want to try some of these on, if you want some, just let me know. I'll be sending them to you. This is amazing. I love Downton. I'm, I'm geeking out right now. This is the most fun thing ever. I love the green. The, the green, the blue. The colors. Just I need to try my glasses. This is the best thing ever. It's I don't really need the reading, but I just love nice glasses. And you look like Gary Oldman as Dracula. Actually, I actually they're cool. Really? Yeah, they look so good on you. They are so perfect. I feel very 1930s. Oh, you it's were. A bit earlier. Oh, yeah. but yeah, they're Philip's glasses. Here. I love the tortoise shell. I actually think I might like them. You can, yeah, yeah you, you absolutely. Pull you, can rock those. Oh. you can rock those. Oh, these are all the Lady Mary ones, aren't, aren't they? 
We really like so Lady Mary. Like, I like you the Lady like Mary, Mary too. Mary. Oh. I mean, how amazing. Can I see the, the flip action? Uh, th this is when I suddenly become a geek. Ready? I'm Mickey Mouse. Never seen me. You've never seen me be geeky. Because? Because? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Awesome. I absolutely love them. I love them on you. <laughs> Simon's decided he has to have rose tinted glasses. Well, the frames are rose tinted. But... They are, they yeah, are really nice. How about that? They suit yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, he needs that. And I like these are the Lady Grantham, aren't they? Yes, those are beautiful. Those are 18 karat gold plated. Oh, I mean, no wonder on. I just, <laughs> I'm like oh. a magpie. <laughs> Thank you. We knew you would go for those ones. We keep trying glasses on Dan. I'm the mannequin now <laughs> yeah. for some reason. But they kind of all suit you. It's sort of annoying every pair he puts on. Yeah, he's a glasses There's guy. There's so guy. Those are much that is annoying about you, and, and it continues to be annoying. Yeah, so generally just annoying. You don't like everything I do. No. Like oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Seriously. Who wore it best? Can you look that good in these? <laughs> he needs the Tom Branson one. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, I look like I know it. what I'm... Would you like to hear to look like a proper chateau owner now. <laughs> yeah, you do, actually. With the jacket as well. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you so much. It has so, been so, so, so wonderful. Much. Thank you for absolutely delicious food. You did such a great job. And really just seeing you blossom is actually really <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you for everything. Come back soon. All right. Bye and bye, Dexter. Everyone except for Simon and Vivian and Dan have gone and I don't know if there's time but I've snuck off. I haven't said anything. I'm going to try and make a jam roly-poly as quickly as a jam roly-poly can be made and I don't know how quickly that is because I've never made one. It's a traditional British dessert. It's the sort of dessert that you expect to be served in sort of boarding schools or school canteens. But Dan, for some inexplicable reason, loves jam roly-polies. I hope you realise that I don't know what I'm doing. Rolling, oh, this is even like this is jam? the roll of the rolling. Do you never put too much jam in? Oh my god, I put too much jam in. This has not been a great day this for my culinary trials. Feels like a disaster that's, already. Yeah, that's too much jam. How do your jam roly polies usually turn out, Dan? Do they, uh, are they big trout? Yes, yeah. uh, Aunt Bessie does a wonderful job. Were you the first person to get to 100 million tastes of your jam roly poly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. oh no. Are you oh, making it worse no. by doing what you're doing? I was just, I was very generous with the jam, what can I say? Can we change the conditions and the bit? It <laughs> no. doesn't feel like a fair you, trade. You wanted a row, you chose, and you are getting one. I should stop filming this, you should, should I? You should ask for a Porsche, seriously. <laughs> At least they don't care, they have each other. That's going to be absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one more word, Daniel. One more word. I mean it. I was going to say one more word. You can't move it. The oh, yeah. oh. There we go. Yep. Perfect. Is that how they usually work? Yes, it is. Exactly like yeah, that. Exactly today. like that. I don't know what's going on down here while they're doing this, and it's quite dramatic. Seriously, these some sort of hamster is attacking this mop. <laughs> is that <what> <laughs> He's doing all right, actually. It's been le grand amour between the two of them, but it's an off it? relationship. Yeah. This right. is the broken mirror that you are taking away. It's a project. It's so beautiful. I would be so happy if you managed to fix yeah. that. I failed to fix yeah. that for 15 years, so okay. that'll be well, fabulous. It's such a good mirror. With feathers. Yeah, 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 with yeah, feathers. Yeah, we had feathers going glasses, over it. You didn't see. We might hang a Venetian mask over it. <laughs> and of course it opens. So oh, it's it's just so lovely. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice one. It I love, really we've, got, we've got another one of these. It's beautiful. And we're taking these, and I'm so excited because... <laughs> First of all, I love the frames, but what I don't love are the frames with the textile mm. underneath. Mm. So I think I could do something with the frames. Oh, as well. Nice. And then I would love to turn these basically into cushions. I think yeah. they'd be ex they are absolutely curtains. stunning. They'll be fabulous. I cannot forget the curtains. They are very, very beautiful yeah. fabric. And I think we might have more of it somewhere. If I find them, I'll... I'll Please do. Give me another good excuse to come and keep you up late. <laughs> 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 He's going to have to eat his words. That is rolled. He said it wouldn't be rolled. It's rolled. Hang on. What? I don't, how many slices of this? <laughs> oh, my God. I reckon I could tip that upside down really quickly. <laughs> the last roly-poly you shall receive from me. It's a little tiny bit of <laughs> <laughs> 
I can indeed custard for you. Hang on, let me. Let me do just with a straight face. Open oh my, my eye. Tell me. I'm not even going to take the drop. Oh my god. Wait, wait oh. for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh wow, that is. It gets perfect. My gloopy. Well. There you go, my darling. Thank you very much. It does look really nice. So, is this a famous British dish? Apparently, just for us poor people uh, who grew <laughs> up in the UK, a classic British working man. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> there's a there's just souffles. Was it in your house? Or oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. with truffle. <laughs> it's certainly all right. It won't be the best because now's the time to tell you. I couldn't get the proper suet and it's vegetarian suet. Yeah. Mm. You can tell it doesn't come from... The fat around the kidneys of a cow is what you're supposed to use. Lovely. And yeah. Dan doesn't like it if you don't use that fat yeah. from those kidneys. Is that your favourite yeah. bit? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's nice though. It's... Mm. It's meaty. Yeah. Just chunky. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>